Thank you for giving me on the stage. Very good brother, me and Kai just here, we all started doing comedy around the same time. Very good brother, being on Showtime at the Apollo BT, he's coming to you. He's here tonight to share his comedy with y'all. Please put your hands together right now for my man, Mr. Adam Phillips, y'all. Give it up, y'all. comedians that came up here to make you guys laugh on a Tuesday night. Give them a nice round of applause. Late night gangster Tuesday evening New Yorkers. You guys came out tonight to laugh, enjoy yourselves, have a good time, take your mind off anything negative. Let me hear you say, hell yeah! Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's a good sounding crowd there. I like that. None of that Prozac stuff. Y'all sound all right. <laughs> You got vim and vigor, that's what I'm talking about. Good to see y'all, how you doing? Doing well, happy birthday, beautiful girl over here. Give the birthday girl a round of applause. Yeah. Hang out. Bring break or winter recess with a sis and with mom, that is beautiful. Having some fun. Happy birthday to you once again. Everybody's doing good? I'm Adam Phillips, I'm glad to be here, ladies and gentlemen. I am celebrating 22 years this week of stand-up comedy. Can I get some love? 22 years! Thank you, thank you. I love it, it works if you work it. You guys look really good. Where are you, Australia? Hey, how you doing? Good to see you, where's Miami? I see Miami and I heard uh, Florida's in the house, Florida, California, who else we got? Is anybody out there from New York City, basically? in paradise is what this year is. All right, I'm Adam Phillips. My issues have issues, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta forgive me. I just turned 52 years old and I just found out that I'm half Puerto Rican. Feel my pain, y'all. I'm black by my mother, Puerto Rican by a friend of my father's. Was it all these years when my middle name is Hector? Now this shit makes sense. And my wife is even worse. She's black and Jewish. Her name is Shamika Schwartz. As soon as I met her, she's like, if I can't buy it wholesale, fuck it, I'm stealing it. <laughs> Wish I was making this up. I went to her house for dinner, we had black eyed peas, fried chicken, collard greens, and gefilte fish. Lapkins, cheese blintzes, Coke 45, Mana Shepherds, this shit was weird. Speaking of weird, I like the energy in this room. I've been up here for two minutes. I don't even mind the fact that I gotta make you guys laugh one table at a time. You guys are literally momentum proof. This is you guys. <laughs> What's next in bed? Stop staring at me and judging me and saying shit. I'm already having issues that the only night I can get is a Tuesday and that for the first time in my life, I'm performing on what is clearly a stripper stage. What kind of shit is this here? Get those dollars ready, baby. My name is Cinnamon. We're gonna do this shit here. Yeah. Y'all better watch out. I charge by the pound. <laughs> this shit is a stripper stage. You ain't fooling nobody. I know one when I see one. That's all the TV that I watched. I know, I know, I know. Y'all looking so good. By the way, everybody out there who may be over 35, it's a quarter to 12 for those of us taking medication. <laughs> See me after the show, I got a special on Lipitor, just for you guys. Man, I'm getting older, 52 is old. That's that age when you realize that your age and your waistline are one and the same. I don't know what happens after 50, man, that weight just creeps up on you. I looked at the scale this morning, I looked down, that shit said to be continued. I'm going on a diet, I have to, man. Like being married. Any married folks out there? Thank you, both of you. This shit is a late night waiting to exhale convention. I like this right here. Good looking white folks. I see a couple of black folks out there. Donde están los latinos en la casa? Thank you to two of you. This is some affirmative action shit going really wrong is what this is. I'm really trying to focus and look at y'all, but I can't. Because I got this hot ass coochie frito light shining right in my face. I am sweating like a lesbian eating a hot dog. It is hot up here. I'm sweating like a hungry Muslim holding a pork chop. It is no joke with this life. 
And you gotta forgive me if I seem a little erratic because my energy is off because I just came back from down south. Mobile, Alabama. Oh. It was country as hell in Mobile, yeah, Alabama. Man. Stop signs don't even say stop, they say whoa. <laughs> Cop stuck his head in my window talking about we don't name mill. I did a sold out show, 700 people at Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> I'm going back next week, I'm opening at the Waffle House. You can't tell me shit. <laughs> Working my way up to Chick-fil-A. Maryland in the house. I got family down here. Hey, Silver Strings. I got people in Aberdeen and Edgewood. Good to see you. He's right. You do have a beautiful smile. Filmmaker, huh? Can he do the Blair Witch Project down there in Burkittsville? What's that, that shit? T, is that a loss? Because from where I'm standing, you are beautiful. Well, thank you. You are welcome. Everybody else, welcome to New York City. The only city in the world where you go out at nighttime to get the evening paper, and by the next morning, you're in it. <laughs> Man Mug on his way to get the post, filming 11. That's real shit. My neighborhood is sketchy. Every time I close the window, it's on somebody's fingers. I gotta get the hell up out of there, man. And I gotta give it up, man. This show started at 11 o'clock, and black folks were on time. <laughs> Y'all were actually early. I'm like, wow! This is a hell of a year so far. See, I gotta blow up spots for everybody in Australia and everybody who doesn't know where I'm going. I don't know what it is, but for whatever reason, black and Spanish people come into work late. <laughs> but that's not where the audacity comes in. Not only do black and Spanish people come into work late, we come into work late with breakfast. We don't give a shit, man, please. <laughs> Ain't no sense to me being late and hungry. That don't make no damn sense. <laughs> Two half pounds for a dollar, you bet your ass I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm just glad to be out of the house. Cause my wife is PMSing. For those of you who don't know, PMS means punish my spouse. Women, what the hell happens to y'all? Every month you get to use the same excuse and the shit works every month. I'm tired, they get irritable, they get bloated, they don't know whether they want salt or sugar. They're sitting there eating Haagen-Dazs crackers and Ritz crackers and ice cream looking at the Lifetime channel in high definition. Then out of nowhere, y'all get horny. So man, if you're around for those six minutes, you better enjoy that shit. You'll get some of the best sex you ever had in your life. You'll get compliments and insults at the exact same time. You'll be like, whose is it? Whose ass? Whose is it? Whose ass is this? Whose is it? She said, you don't know him. <laughs> Are you talking crazy? Last night you said I was the best. She said, no, I said you tried your best. <laughs> They're really, really outspoken. The thing I really love about women, though, they do things that sexy to them, so they think it's all right for men to try them. Not true. Mister, cool dude with the nice, thick beard and the paisley shirt, don't fall for this shit. Women get bored, so they go to this place in the village called the Pink Pussycat. For those of you who may not know, the Pink Pussycat is Toys R Us for perverts. Any form of sexual deviance you want, they got it in the Pink Pussycat. They got this lotion for men called Senor Grande. Supposedly, you take this lotion, rub it on your wood, and your wood will get much bigger. You're yeah, right. Wouldn't your hand get bigger, too? <laughs> Never mind how I know that. I took that shit back for a refund. My wife was like, maybe you made a mistake and rubbed it on your stomach. <laughs> That's not that fucking funny. <laughs> Very outspoken women are. Any Italians in the audience today? Yeah. Supreme Cuisine's in the house. Thank you, Jersey Shore, for coming out. This one right Thank here. Oh, the situation is in the house. Just chill it out. <laughs> Macaroni with the scarf on. I love Italians. Because Italians make some of the best freaking food you ever had in your life. But too much physical contact with the food, my Supreme Cuisine. No. They put their heart and soul and everything else into their cooking. Best pizza in the world, New York City, Italians. Some dude named Giuseppe, next to an oven, 700 degrees. No freaking sign of an air conditioner anywhere. He's sweating Blood. profusely Sweat. with his fist Blood. in the dough. That's right. Mingy, my own, ain't so much. He up and down, he's a Best pizza you ever had. Best wine in the world. Italians. Some dude named Nunzio. 
with 9,000 grapes in his bathtub. <laughs> He's stepping on her barefoot. Swim my ball, I'm done, I'm done. Best wine you ever had. Now you got the pizza with the fists. You got the wine with the feet. That's why I don't eat any Italian donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down, pass it to them. <laughs> Hey, dude, would you like a nice cream filled? No, you keep that shit. She said, you keep that. I'm more than good. I'm more than good. You guys are a good crowd. I got through there. I put on my thug wear for you guys. This is the Tuesday night in New York. Look, baggy thick, baggy sweatshirt, baggy pants. And just for you guys, late night New Yorkers, I threw on my genuine Gucci watch. Yes, I did. This is that good shit. This is Gucci. G-U-C-H-I. <laughs> it's imported from Chinatown. <laughs> this is some good shit when it says made on Canal Street. That's how you know it's good. Where are my New Yorkers one more time? The three of you, where are you? Because <laughs> you're in a place like this, you love it, right? Then you go out.